Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground Kitchen make off time! <laughs> the um, guys coming to do the sink, goodbye sink See ya See ya So I'm just emptying the cleaning cupboard I've done emptied like the big um, bit with all the sprays in and then I'm just emptying all these out so that you can Get right in there, get all and get us a new sink and tap. Yeah, man. There's been a slight change of plan. The sink did not get done. Why did it not get done, Nathan? Um, because plumber. The parts were missing. There was a big hole in the wrapper, really? so the plumber came. The parts were missing. <laughs> the plumber came. There was no sink clips, no coverage, no nothing. He was like, I can't fit this. And then there was also a dent in the side of the sink, so we marched back down to B&Q yesterday with my mum, who is number one Karen, and <laughs> she's not, she's not really. I, we were walking in, and I was like, "Please be nice." I was like, "Yes, it's this is such a faff, and it's not ideal because he'd already started taking the seal off the sink, so when we've been washing up, we've having to be really careful." But I was like, "Just be nice," and she was like. Do you want compensation? I was like, well, yeah, obviously, but I was like, because we obviously had to pay the plumber as well. We had to, for his time that he'd been here and he's having to come back as well. So I was like, well, yeah, I was like, but just be nice. I was like, don't, don't be mean. Um, but she was, she was really nice. She was just like, just, it's just not, it's really unhappy to be honest. And yeah, we ended up getting the new sink. We're all sorted. He's managed, the plumber's managed to fit us in today. So that's just great. Um, so the kitchen makeover has resumed. I've emptied the kitchen Well, I most know. of it anyway. It's just the appliances over here. On a footnote, the B&Q person was actually really nice as well. Yeah, B&Q. Cheers. Like amazing. Would recommend to a friend. 100%. Um, did you notice what I've been up to while you have been sleeping? Yeah, it's all looking gorgeous. Empty. <laughs> so we thought <clears throat> we would do a little haul of all the things we bought for the kitchen. Right, what do you want to start with? This. Our most recent buy. Our most recent buy, which we've gone on about. If you watch the vlogs usually, you'll know our little laundry powder tin. Laundry powder. So it's actually like quite a lot of space in here. Mm -hmm. And then you get like a little, little scoop. Scoop. Oh, you're giving them a demonstration yeah, there. Yeah, just go like this. And go, oh. Ooh, need some of that. Just that off. And then in the drawer. <laughs> like that. And then, that just... Put the lid back on. And nice and aesthetic, isn't it? Gorgeous. We've got this, which was initially going in the bathroom before we decided on a pink and orange. So this has got the washing up brushes in and then the soap dispenser matches. Yeah. This has hand soap in. That yeah, one has. And this is washing up liquid. Yeah. In this one. So this one's from Dunelm and these two are from Asda, but I'm not sure they'll sell them anymore. Then we've got. We've got a softener, which bottom, is empty. Which we put up. some, um, what's it called? Comfort. We get comfort. Okay. Put that in there. That we was from Bina. Or the range? Bina. Bina. <gasps> oh, break it. And also in here, we've got an array of bright, colourful pegs. It's our peg basket in it. When we set up the uh, oh, washing line properly. He's dropping everything. But that's cute. That just goes into to the side. My pride and joy, which is the biscuit tin. This one is from Asda, I think. Yes, the such big a good one size, Asda. though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Which we've not actually had any of the biscuits out of this yet because we've been using the old floor. Yeah, yeah. The so we bought too many biscuits, didn't we? Yep. Yeah. Let's also start with these two. Why not? Some tea towels. This is like a black and white. I don't know what print is that. Just like a random black I think and white it print. It looks like cheetah. Hmm. It does. I think it's just random. No, I think it's cheetah. Oh. Ah, uh, kind of looks yeah. a bit like cow print though. Then this is just like a generic. That's our detail. practical drying towel, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And um, these just hang off, like we've got little hooks on the side. Yeah, the hooks were from Amazon. And then this drawer is just filled with like other tea towels that we've not used yet. These ones are from IKEA and they're more practical. Yeah. Ooh. In that drawer. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? 
Incredible. Gorgeous knife set. I'm so glad we went with these. These are what? What? Iridescent. Iridescent. Iridescent knives. These are just, and this the stand is just nice and aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, these were from Asda and they were only like £18, weren't they? They were quite cheap, yeah. And they're really good the knives. knives, aren't they? Oh yeah, they're very sharp. What good. We've got the tiles which we're about to do after we finish this haul. These are from Shein. These are just the stick on the same as the bathroom ones, the waterproof. So fingers crossed they work well on a wall. Because apparently I've read loads of reviews, people stick them on the walls, so yeah. Fingers crossed. I'm trusting you because you've I'm, done all of these things. Well, I'm very sceptical, I'm not going to lie. Mm. Then we've also got the big drinks dispenser, which we've not used yet. This will be used in summer, I reckon. Yeah. Bring it in the garden with us, fill it with ice, mm -hmm. top your drink up whenever you want. Yep. Want a nice tea This bit? was from Ikea. No, it wasn't. I mean, not Ikea. TK Maxx. TK Maxx. Yeah. Oh, I really want to go to TK Maxx. I do too. We haven't been for a while. No, we've not been for ages. We haven't been since we... Like... We've got we a house. Been for the new house. It's embarrassing. No. We wouldn't even have time I'm to go today. Well, right, I reckon we'll make a plan next week. 100%. TK Max. Yeah. Then, this plant is just an old plant, but it is from Ikea. It's like a... It's like fake bamboo. bamboo. Yeah. But Looks like it. It's kind of like it goes well in the kitchen. This lives Gorgeous. near the sink, doesn't it? Yes. This is another plant that just lives by the sink. This is a... Is this a banana leaf, then? No. Is this... Fetchka. It's either a mini Monstera or cheese plant. Fetchka. They're all Fetchkas from Ikea. Yeah, so that stays by the sink with the other plant. No, it doesn't. That lives near the bread bin. You forgot our kitchen oh, though already. So what was near that one? Oh, they were real flowers next to them. Yeah. Yeah. You want an assistant? <laughs> These mini little IKEA plants fake live on the windowsill. Chopping boards. This one was from TK <gasps> Right, that had oh what? your little house thing. Is it broke? It probably will be now, heavy handed. This is an uh, Eleanor Balmer. Eleanor. Eleanor Bomer. Um this was from TK Maxx. We found this. Uh Five. we found this quite a while ago actually, and we were like, oh we'll put that in our kitchen. We did. In a TK Maxx that we've never been to before. Yeah, that was in um somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere we've never been. Gorgeous. It was ten pounds, wasn't it? Uh, no. Yeah. Okay, five right there. Why do I think that was ten pound? No. Six pound. Six pound. Gorgeous. Incredible. We haven't used this yet, actually. We haven't. This then is more of like a display type one. It is a little bit, isn't it? This is a practical one. This one was from Tesco, I think. It's just. Just a generic. Just a plain one. Board, that just really. goes behind that because it's not very nice. No. To look at, is it? And we don't have a lot because we only really cut up vegetables. We don't cut up meat. No. So you don't need like a meat in a veg one because we only use it. We don't eat a lot of meat, do we? No. Unless it's Juan. Well, yeah. This was from... Not this. Not this. This was from Amazon. This is just a load of utensils. That hasn't really been washed properly, but... Um, yeah, this has just got a load of spatulas, tongs, um, Incredible wash, for money. a whisk. How much was it? I can't remember, but I just know it wasn't expensive. Aesthetic. Very aesthetic. And our little egg spatula, which was from B&M. Yeah. It's doing good so far, though. Is that a pound? It was only cheap, wasn't it? £1.50, £2, something like that. Then we have... We use these for the first day. Pink first scales. These are from Amazon, again. They're by the brand Cabal. Cabal. But they're dead easy to use. And I just, as soon as I've seen them, I was like... Bit of pop of colour, you we know. We need I mean? some pink skills yeah, in the bathroom. Absolutely. In the kitchen, yeah. I mean, not the bathroom. Ooh, who has bathroom skills? Um, this is just a candle from IKEA. Just you know, it's a green candle. We've not lit it yet. Have this we? just goes on the windowsill. Oh. Oh, whoa, sorry, babe. Whoa. One of my favourite things that we found in a charity shop is this little teapot i feel like what are you gonna put in it because it's I, just living by the kettle at the moment i know it just says village tea shop on it and it's just look can we see properly look how cute put, that is so defo's put a flower in the end of that yeah i feel like it needs a little tiny bunch of fake flowers yeah. in the end because i'm not it is a teapot but i'm not going to use it as a teapot because no. i feel like it's kind of hard to clean out so i just need some little fake flowers in there oh it's so cute it's so cute i love it uh, we brought this from home, we from did. Daniel's mum's. It's a little mermaid cookbook. This just lives by the uh, by the oven. Again, just aesthetic. We don't really just, use it. No, I don't think we ever have. To be fair. Well, I think I've used it a couple of times. Have you? Like. Yeah. Oh, fish donuts! <laughs> How cute are they? Fish donuts. I feel like Everly will like this when she gets. Yeah, when she starts staying over, and we can go through it and. Yeah. Stuff. 
Then we have, these are the only prints we've got for the kitchen so far, which is not ideal because Quite there's so similar. many mm -hmm. that I want. There's the pasta and pizza ones that I want for up there. Yeah. There's a black and white one that says this way to the snacks with an arrow. I feel like it'd look nice up there. Mm -hmm. um, but so far we've just got these two. They probably won't be staying in here, I don't think, because they don't massively go with the no. vibe. This one does, the matcha green tea one, but the bottomless brunch one's a bit too colourful, I think, yeah. for the kitchen. But these two are from Sophie Shop. Kitchen roll holder. <laughs> um, it's just a plain black one. Yeah. Watch, I'll show you properly. It's just this. We've actually left the stickers on, which is quite embarrassing. But well, that just you goes can't in, see them, though. That just goes in the corner. I ain't got time to peel stickers off. I feel like eventually we will get one of them ones that attaches to the cupboard because it'd go nicely behind there yeah. and it'd obviously take up less because the kitchen Work rolls, space. not exactly. It's a Dalmatian print, is it? <laughs> <laughs> if it was, I'd keep it out. Then we have this jug from the range which we're using as a flower vase. So mm. whenever we have flowers. Where did our cow bottle go? Oh, that we got from uh, TK Maxx ages and ages ago. No, oh, wait, that wasn't from TK Maxx, that was from that shop. Oh, it was from TK Maxx. No, it wasn't, it was from that shop in Middlesbrough. Bargain bars. It was it a bargain hunt or something. <laughs> so again, that just lives on the windowsill. Yeah, with some fresh flowers in it. Fresh flowers. Fresh flowers. Um, this is just a oven mitt. Probably a bit dirty because we've been using it. You just feel like this. No. Where'd you, you, you get your oven from? Makes me. So tell you what. Ooh, why does that look so weird? Wait. Oh, you are now tea towels. <laughs> yeah, see that mark? That's tea towels. This again probably needs a wash because we've been using it. This is a tea towel we found in Dunelm. Again, it's slightly too colourful for the kitchen, but I quite like the odd bits of yeah, colour in here. Yeah, colour can't go wrong. We are keeping it quite dark, aren't we? But. I mean... That's more of a for sure towel. Yeah, we, that just Hands goes on the... Oven door, but don't oven. worry, we take it off when we turn the oven on. We do, but I don't know, because ours is electrical, I don't know whether it would actually... It's best to just take it off. It's yeah. not worth the risk, really. Well, it's not, is it? I it's mean, we're always in here when... Well, especially me, I'm always in here when I cook anyway. I'm not. Um, cork boards, so these are just <laughs> heat-resistant cork mop pod. <laughs> <laughs> these are just heat-resistant... Cork pads, mats. Good bit. <laughs> you put your pans on when you've cooked your pasta, and yeah. you know it's just they don't look the best, but because obviously a lot of units are suitable to put hot things on, but because we are vinyl in the worktops, we can't really. There will put be hot, no, no, no hot things on there. Yeah, you when you hit things in me. Then we have the little glass which we keep our rainbow coloured straws in, and these little candy spoons. Spoons that look like lollipops. Candy. Don't know if I'll ever use these because they're just. Candy. I'm one of them people who buy things to not use on because yeah. they're too cute and I never want them to break because I never want to not have them. Yeah. Next up, we've got some. Sorry, Ben. That's okay. Mango man. iced tea syrup, which we have tried this and I must sorry. say, sorry. I was very skeptical about using this, right? You just add water. You literally to it. just put water in it and it tastes like an iced tea. I actually seen this on Softer's Life. Softer's Life. She did a Christmas haul. She did a Christmas haul. Hall. And she said that her mum. Or a mother in law. Her mother in law got her it. And so now we've got the mango. We want to get the lemon. They do and loads of different The flavors, raspberry and the strawberry. And we want to get them all and just line them all up along. Yeah. The workshop. Because it is incredible. It tastes so nice. It just tastes delicious. Bit of ice. Bit of water. Bit of syrup. Bit of bit of pump and then we also use like a raspberry <laughs> and then we use a bit of like raspberry syrup, syrup. to go in it syrup i love not syrup. that not that oh i love it what's that mm. Mm, syrup i have syrup with everything mm. oh i love it mm. i don't really know what that is syrup in coffee why did i think of that oh. Oh. then we have this which is we were using as a sugar pot it still has sugar in it but i'm not really sure what to use it as now it comes with a little, can you hold the lid for me? Mm -hmm. This was from a charity shop. It comes with a little spoon that's mm -hmm. covered in sugar. And yeah, I don't really know what to use it as. It's a cute little decor piece. It is a very cute decor piece. It just stays next to the tea station, doesn't it? Because mm -hmm. we don't drink coffee. Talking of tea. This one. No. Oh, oh, you Speaking tea of tea. Piece. Yeah. Not candles. We've got teapot, sugar pot, 
in a coffee pot. This well, that's sugar, actually sugar. This is tea. This is miscellaneous. Yeah, because we don't drink coffee and... Normally, people would be nice and be like, oh, guests come round, they might like a coffee, but it would just go to waste. It would. Because the guests that there. we have round, no one drinks coffee. Hardly anybody. And if the people who do drink coffee, they could easily, we could be like, no, we wouldn't coffee. have coffee, so... Yeah, either you can have a tea have with drink. oat milk, <laughs> or you can have water from the tap. Oh, I've got Pepsi, you can have Pepsi. <laughs> or you can have an iced tea. An iced tea. Yeah, we've got a lot of... An array of drinks. Plus, I'm gonna when we go to B&M, I'm gonna get some like um, different cans to put in the fridge for when we. Oh yeah, like, like fun is just like random fruit waste. Yeah, it's like diet coke. Just like random drinks. Yeah, like a full And then if we have no guests because we have no close friends <laughs> that will be round, then we'll just drink from ourselves. Absolutely. Well, I will definitely will. You do. Hundred percent. Um. So that is. Oh, hold on. Oh. Last but not least. Oh. The candle. The Feel Good Collection Positivity Lotus Flower and Jasmine Candle. Actually, it smells really nice. This is from Primark. Mmm. Smells like clean, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just nice and aesthetic though, like in the kitchen because it's black and white. Yeah. It just looks good. And that... Sorry, excuse me. And that, that is concludes... Oh, what about this? <laughs> the bread bin is cleaning. It's got croissant in the bottom of it. This is a bread bin that we got from Argos. Yeah. Um, and it's like very spacious. I won't show you inside because it, mm, it's very uh, futuristic. Very spacious. It is. It's a bit got, dirty, it's so got we will clean it. In it. Don't worry. Um, but it's very spacious and it just lives in the corner of the worktop. Um, and then the other bits is just the kettle, the microwave, toaster, and fridge. Fridge. And everything else we'll show you when we Need do time. the tour. Yeah. Oh, the draining board. The, well, if you watch our vlogs, you will have seen the draining board. I just wanted it's from Dunhill. because we're doing the kitchen makeover. It just made sense to show do a Bits haul and, and so everything where everything's from is in one place, and I can link everything. Washing up gloves. Very, no one needs to see the washing up gloves. They're elbow grease gloves. <laughs> right, so we're gonna start. Put all this back in here. Put all that back in there, yeah. And then we're gonna start with. Uh, stickers. The guy's coming to do the sink between three and four. Mm -hmm. So we'll do the stickers, he'll do the sink, and then we'll attempt the oh, vinyl. Yeah. So, oh, so the vinyl. Where's the testers? Here. We got three testers from Vinyl Warehouse online. We were, we knew we didn't want white because there's too much white in this kitchen, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, it would have looked a little bit odd. Yeah, with white cupboards, white, it, it just, no, we just decided no white. We were thinking wood, then I seen the black one. And so we got this wood. Yeah. Which I think is a bit brown. And Too furniture really... Oh, it's toffee. Truffle. 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 <laughs> this one is sand, which I do like this, but I think for our kitchen vibes, it's not like... For what we're going for right now, the black and white, mm. cool, quirky, it just is not going to look right. That would look nice when we decide like we want like sage. Yeah, more like green. fresh and yeah. just green cupboards and everything yeah. like that. So this is what we went for, black wood. Black wood, Because we just think gorgeous. it's going to look so clean and yeah. just like sleek. Yeah, so, so fingers big, crossed. Big roll of this. We didn't have a hairdryer because I don't actually own a hairdryer because I let my hair air dry. So we've ordered a hairdryer that we're going to pick up from Argos today. Mm -hmm. And because that's what you use to activate and the glue that, in the vinyl. Safe. So yeah. I'm very nervous to do it, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I'm just very nervous. Like, so for this back bit, do we like do, sorry the camera's spinning, do we do like it all the way up across there or do we do the bottom bit and then do the back bit? I think you do the back bit separate. Do you think? Oh no. What, we just do it all together? I think so. But how's that even going to work? I don't know, I'm nervous about this. I'm nervous because it can't go wrong, it has to go right. I'm really nervous We're about just going to take our time. Um, obviously here because there's no splashback. Gets when you're dirty. cooking it gets dirty so I can't wait to have the tiles on there so that we can just wipe them over yeah wipe it down right so the tiles are going two up if we decide that we do need it to go further up the wall we can do that at a later date but mm. for now two fit on here yeah well we'll take them out packet and show you yeah these are exactly the same as the bathroom ones like the same thickness they're not super thick to be honest so if we can see here I just kind of hold two together, two fit up there. So we're just gonna go two. Oh, it's slipping. We're gonna go two all the way around, even on the back bit up here. And if we do want more, we can get more. 
We've moved everything now, the microwave and everything off the sides. Just give it a quick wipe over so that the wall's clean and dry. And you're supposed to use like something rubber to rub them on, but I'm just gonna use a card. And we're just gonna hope for the best, really. Gone, babe. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Love. Do you enjoy uh, vinyl in? Love it every second of it. Do you understand how it was slightly stressful for me to do the bathroom floor? Absolutely not. This is so easy. It's so easy, is it, babe? Yeah. Right, we've done. <laughs> <laughs> we've done one layer. I've just started on the second is that layer. It? <laughs> is that all we've done? <laughs> one layer. We've wasted lots. Um, Stuck them on and had to peel them off. There's just random ones all around the kitchen. But it's looking very cute, isn't it, babe? Yes. I'm loving it. We've just got some wonky bits. Um, but luckily, the bits where we've gone a bit wonky, the microwave and the toaster cover. So, yeah, so far. And the bread bin. So good. It's definitely... Like, it's not hard, is it, babe? It's just fiddly. <sighs> so fiddly. And if you get it wrong, you've obviously got to... Peel it off. Peel it off, which is fine usually, but when we're peeling it off, it's peeling all the paint off, so the thing's covered in paint, if you can see on there, and then it's going to waste because we're having to use another one. So we're definitely going to run out because we've, like, messed up too many times. But we're just going to do the second layer up here, see how far around we can get, and then we'll have to order some more. But Nathan's just <laughs> in the corner over there. It probably doesn't look any different for you guys, but we've actually... Well, ta -da, I guess. See a little bit. <laughs> We've been to the gym, done a food shop, run some errands, and we're back now. We ran out of tiles, so. We're three missing here. And then. And then we've messed the corner bit up. Well, I did. Well, we both did. Well, I did. And then I'll we're take... missing one more no, round. Two. Oh, two? Yeah, because we need this. Oh, amount. the little. There's a little gap yeah. there, and then we need some for there. So another two packs, maybe. Probably, yeah. That but be. that's how it's looking. What do you think, Bev? I love it. We love it, don't we? We feel like it makes the kitchen look bigger. I really love it. And I feel like once we've got. I said we need like a colour up here. Yeah, I mean we can definitely do a colour up there if we fancy it, can't well, we? I definitely want like a green or something. Yeah. Like a dark green. That would look nice. Right, so. <laughs> Should we lay this out first on how long we need the strip and then we cut it? I think so, yeah. Yeah. So this is the vinyl that we've got. It's from Vinyl Warehouse. I think we already said that. It's just sh nice shiny black wood. And <laughs> we've not watched any videos on how to do this. I know that you meant to hair dry it because I know I've heard people say, when I was doing the fireplace, people said the hairdryer activates the glue. Yeah. When I was researching yeah, them, it does, but do we like lay it all down and then hairdryer it? Or will that put bubbles in it? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, God. The supplies, we've got the vinyl, a Stanley knife. And a bubble remover. Yeah, it makes sure it has a rubber. This is our wallpaper one. As long as it's got a rubber edge and you can kind of get a good grip to really push it down. scrape the air out and we've also got a ruler because we thought when we're doing up to here like the well like pop. yeah push it all the way with the ruler and then stanley yeah oh i don't know it's gonna be easier with the stanley yeah so what we're doing first like measuring so you want to make sure it comes down here well, don't we? it'll come down there though look all right nice Definitely come down there. And we're thinking, because obviously a lot of kitchens don't have that back bit, do they? Like that little... Got like a ledge. Yeah, so we're thinking we just do the bottom bit first. Is that the best idea? I don't know. I think it is, you know. I think it's going to be too much of a faff to try and get this to wrap properly. Like, because how would we even do that? Get, get it up there? Oh, God. 
then to come down that's not gonna work i think we do it separate and then this already has like sealer on it mm -hmm. and we know we need some sealer for the sink mm -hmm. so we can definitely just like yeah. fake grout it kind of yeah. thing can't we yeah oh how nice is this gonna look though looks so nice underneath you want the backing paper to peel under as you're scraping you want to be able to pull yeah. Oh my god, this is scary. That's oh, right. Guys, I don't know same. where you're going to go, where you're going to be able to see, to be honest. Yeah. But the cut goes here. What, like across there, or what? No, oh, well, you don't put a cut across. You put, this just needs to come down, so you need a serrated thing here, so that this comes down and these fold in. Yeah, but I'm saying it stops here. All this is coming up, so we're just leaving this chunk there, and then starting the next bit from here. It's coming off. I've got too much. Oh, it's come back on. <laughs> Oh, I'm nervous. Right, because one person That's needs probably. to hold the back and paper. Right. And one person Who's needs to Who's that person going to be? Right, come near me. Yeah. Is it folded under? Have you got hold of this? Yeah. Just get hold of this. Yeah. Oh, my God. Fold the... Have you folded... Like, yes, I've folded... Oh, I've gone this back and paper. Right, this That's what I'm saying. Right there. Your bit's not folded. It is. Right, where's the hairdryer then? Um, no, this is gonna go, oh my god. Well, that's not straight, babe. Oh, what did we even vlog there? I don't know. Listen, it? would not recommend the battery's gonna die. Vinyl in a work talk to a friend. This is what we've got <laughs> so far. It's honestly, it looks worth it. So it looks oh. so much better black, but we've there's just so many bits that we've messed up on. If I show you, like, close up. Because I could pretend that... You can't see it from afar. No, I could pretend that it's all good. Perfect. Um, but we do have some air bubbles. We've messed the corner up that I don't even want to show you. <laughs> and then the back bit is not sticking it's because not sticking. we've put a strip and it's just... We're probably going to have to cut another strip for that bit and then yeah, it'll stick, like I reckon. Yeah, it's all one um, strip, yeah. But, I mean, it looks so much better, doesn't it? Obviously, when the grey bit behind goes. Yeah, we're thinking we're just going to paint that. There's no way we can vinyl that. It's no. going to be painted, I reckon. It's been a while since we last updated the kitchen makeover vlog. We had a nightmare with the sink. We got it done. It is in, and it looks incredible. We can't wait to show you, but it's leaking everywhere. So we've got a plumber coming today yeah. to hopefully sort it. But we're trying before he comes to just get the last bit of the vinyl done. Yeah, because he doesn't um, need to be on the worktop, he just needs to be in the cupboard. He just needs to be in the sink, so we just need to do it quickly so he doesn't get here. But we're doing the sink part, which we thought would be the most difficult bit. We've just cut a hole in it. Just to try and... Just, yeah, just, just to make so it easier. Just so you can put it against where you actually need to put it down, so then it's a lot easier to scrape and stick. We can hope. So, think. the last bit ended over here. So we did this side, we finished this side, which was a lot will, easier piece. Yeah, we'll show you it because there's just stuff like all over there. Um, so we will show you it at the end, but we're just going to try and get this bit on now. And yeah, that's where we're at. So around the sink, we're literally just using a Stanley knife. Some bits we've used a ruler just to really press it up against it and then cut it, but Nins has gone freehand now. And it's easier to do freehand, to be fair. Yeah. I'm saying that, but it's the corners of the sink that are a little bit. Yeah. The dodgy bit. There's not any real like. But I mean, it's looking pretty good. It's looking how long This bit was so much easier to do than one I thought it was going to be and two over there. I don't know why. The kitchen is as finished. 95% done. <laughs> as finished as it's going to be. We still are missing a few tiles that we ran out of. Because we messed up. Because we messed a up. A couple of times. And um, some prints. We're waiting for some prints to come for the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And then it'll just be like a few, like, maybe some, like, nice, like, mural on a the wall. A few little bits and bobs. And... It'll just be added things then. But it is finished. So what would we like to see? Oh. Ready? Wait, I'll put some befalls in. <laughs> Where do we want to start? Do we just want to take it all in first? Yeah, take a look. Take it all in. Wow. Like over there you can see that the tiles are done. 
but they're yeah, not. Yeah, it looks done, but obviously we'll show you in a sec that they're not. But this is how we're looking, the new sink. This sink is so much better. Like, <sighs> some people have vinyl, and a lot of people I've talked to have said, oh, I've got a vinyl resin. sink, a resin. Yeah. I've got a resin sink, and it's mint, but it just wasn't... It wasn't for us, was it? It really wasn't, wasn't for us. It wasn't doing it. It wasn't... We've said, like, a few times, but it wasn't cleaning. So, we'll start with here. First thing yeah. you come to is the vinyl. Is right. the vinyl. So the vinyl was a nightmare, not gonna lie. By the end, we picked it up, didn't we? Yeah, by the end, it wasn't too bad, but like... It's not perfect. I think God. it's the whole thought of, right, how do you do it? How do you get it down? How do you peel off? Who's peeling? Who's sticking? Like, do it on your own. Oh God, oh, that would be a nightmare. I'd avoid it. I know one of you commented, I think it was Alison saying, you've ripped yours up three times. And I don't blame you because <laughs> I... It was very... Hard. Like on this bit here, you can see the join. You can see the join because here. we ran out of vinyl. Like we ran out with a piece of vinyl, one piece, so yeah. we had to join another one. But we thought it's better to overlap it because we don't want a gap. Yeah. To then water get in and lift up, so we 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 can. We're deal with just that. dealing with that, and then there's obviously, as you can see, a few like air bubbles in parts of it, but nothing like. Not like a that major, we can't deal with. Like no. at the end of the day, it is a D it's meant to be a DIY. Yeah. We we've never done it before. So that's just what we're because working at with. At some point you might be like, oh, something hot there. No, <laughs> cover it up. <laughs> cover it up. <laughs> so we'll start with this. This is from TK Maxx. We got this ages ago. It's a little cactus water dispenser. Then we've got a plant here because we just thought it looked nice there. Yeah. This is the cupboard that has the bin in. Yeah. Nothing really interesting. Then we've obviously got our gorgeous sink. We did choose the oh, black God, tap insane. which is just the tap is so good <laughs> and the oh. water like the other water the other tap you used to put it on just like a little bit and it used to and it would splatter splat, and yeah it, it was so forceful but now it's literally like oh it's so just smooth, incredible you know just incredible little scrub daddy nathan's just cleaned it so it was all fresh for you all yeah then we've got I've done the best job like you've done a good job Bev. don't worry about it but yeah we love we're obsessed with the sink oh, it's exactly what we wanted love the um then we've got the windowsill which needs maybe an actual windowsill on it because this is just paint so it's mm. kind of hard to clean like it never really looks clean because it's got like stains and stuff on doesn't it yeah, so it needs a that needs a windowsill but yeah we've just got some candles the vase some little plants and then the washing up liquid hand wash and scrubbies for mm -hmm. The washing uppers, washer uppers. Washer uppers. Then we've got the drainer, which is from Dunelm, and our lovely little washing up gloves that we use. This drainer is exactly what I wanted, to be fair, because it has a little bottom bit on it with a drainage. Nice. It runs down into the sink. Um, I mean, is it necessary? Probably it's not. It's just what you need, but it is just what you it's need. It's perfect for, for us, isn't people, it? people, like four little cup things. Yeah. Plates, balls. Yeah. You, you can fit quite a lot on it because we've had a lot of washing. Well, True. Dinny has. Yeah. Dinny has been <laughs> washing because <laughs> she likes to let me just have a rest. Then we've got. Brand new the pipes. Cleaning, brand the pipes new work. Pipe. The pipes are not leaking. <laughs> got all our cleaning stuff under there. It looks a bit messy, but. It's Does an anybody's under mess, the sink club? That's an organised mess. You it know is. Where everything is. Exactly. This is our gorgeous washer dryer. Washer dryer, which we're getting used to. But if anybody has a washer dryer, when you put it on the setting, for example, when you're doing your towels to like wash and dry straight away, how do you put anything like smelly in, like to get your towels to smell nice? If anybody has any tips, please let us know. Um, oh, look, see, this is the thing with black. I love it, and I'm so glad we went black. But it just brings up. Oh, don't mind. Yeah, with the hairdryer couldn't stretch too far, so just leave that for now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then we've got the laundry powder tin from Amazon, the softener, pegs in our little basket. Tea towels with a little hook on the side. Yeah, tea towel, hand That's towel. That's perfect, that. Exactly what we mean. need. Then over this way, spot the missing tiles. Oh, oh there it is. We have <laughs> the, the dodgy corner. <laughs> the dodgy corner that we need to replace. We've got the kitchen roll holder with some um heat pads, the nice bread bin which is from Argos which the bread bin is just unreal. It really is I for a bread, bread bin, bin, isn't it? Me I too. Then we've got a little plant, the knife set from Asda, the tiles. This is how the tiles look on the back. What do we think? We're thinking maybe we paint this a different color. I want this green. Like yeah. a sagey green. I think that would look quite nice. Like to match like all this. Yeah, just like to tie it green, in. Yeah. I feel like that would be nice. So then we've got the cooker, which don't look too closely because it needs cleaning. <laughs> um, we have this little tea towel. This cupboard is just got air fryer. Um, plates and plates dishes. And baking stuff, yeah. Then we move around here and we have the utensils. 
little pot that we got again from Amazon. Oh my god, I'm stuck to the cooker. It was a bargain that was, not it? It was like £20 or something. It was incredible. We've got loads of utensils in it. Yeah, exactly. Then we've got chopping boards, we've got the El Nabalma one, and then we've got a more practical one behind that. The pink scales, which are just... We used them the other day, didn't we? Oh, we what a dream. What did we use that for again? I don't remember. Oh, the to rice. Wear, wear the rice. We did yep. the rice dish. We oh, did. Best rice dish ever. Then we've got this little book for sure. I feel like I want a new cookbook that, like, obviously I'll probably never cook with, but just no, a show. Sure I want a proper cookbook to for use. Christmas. I'm going to ask for one. To, yeah. To make stuff out of it. Yeah. I feel like we just need one for sure, like, to look. Do you know what I've seen on, um, oh. on. I think it was the Disney store. It was a cook, like a cookbook stand, mm -hmm. and it was Ratatouille one. I can't remember Aww. what it said now, but I was like, oh. I love that. It was wooden as well. It was lovely. I love that. So then we've got the toaster, the kettle, just white, some prints from Sophie Shop. Um, that one says bottomless brunch, and that one says matcha green tea. We're thinking that more prints will go up here, and then we'll also. When we come round there, I'll show you. We'll have a print over there as well. Then, this is new. This is from TK Maxx. We've been looking for a um, teaspoon holder, like mm. a tea bag kind mm. of thing. And if we've anyone seen... knows what that says, please let me know. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> Defo's Japanese. It looks Japanese. It might be Mandarin. But anyway, it's very aesthetic, isn't it? It's and gorgeous. it's exactly what we wanted. Mm -hmm. Then we have this from the charity shop, a little village tea shop. Tea shop? That's how it's... Village, village tea, tea shop. shop. <laughs> um... It's like a teapot, but we just use it for sure. I need to get some flowers for it, some fake flowers in there, a little like stem or something. Yeah, then we've got the canisters, which are from Dunelm. It's got tea, empty sugar. Tea, empty sugar, because we're not <laughs> coffee drinkers. That then the black one just blends in. Yeah, no, it actually does. See the black one. Then this is where the other join is for the unit, as you, uh, um, for the work top. Work top, yeah. Also, a little bit to the corners went a little bit dodgy. Like, this one looks alright because I matched oh, it up perfect. It's alright. It's the other one that just needs... Yes. Yeah. Like, there was some bits of the worked up vinyl that was, like, difficult because we didn't know, like, which way to cut it. Yeah. How to do which bit, but you can't really see unless you're up close. You can't honest. really see. Like, there is bits, like, that are slightly... And we ain't saying we've done a perfect job because we haven't. We're not saying that because we haven't, but... Oh, was that the door? Oh, no, my mum won't be here yet. We've done it ourselves, you know. Then we have this little Asda flower glass that holds... Yeah, iridescent that holds our rainbow straws and the rainbow spoons then we have the iced tea which we're going to collect more of them mm -hmm. the biscuit tin because i just like it on shore because i've always wanted a biscuit tin no, no, no. then we've got the microwave the little strawberry pot on top of there with the spoon which i have no idea what to use for yet and then cupboards so we have dun 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 this one's like our pride and joy isn't it what the jars yeah, true. Because I've got no mugs. It really just makes me feel happy looking at this. So... The only mug I've got is that glass yeah. one up there. That's literally true, all True, the rest of mine. Yeah, yeah but the, you use the glasses, so oh, we've got... <laughs> the bottom shelf is for glasses, anything like small glasses, big mug type glasses. Mm -hmm. We've got the guest mugs in there. Our little plasticky ones that look like glass that for actually are night. for date night. <laughs> then my mugs that I use every day are on the top. And then up there is just like random, like mm. like Christmas, Halloween, just like seasonal um, mugs in the top there. Then this bottom cupboard needs some organisation. Big cobweb. Okay. Yeah, under here needs some organisation. It's a bit of a mess, but this is like the rice, pasta, sauces, like spices, everything. Pot noodles, everything like that is in there. So that needs organising. So I want that'll be in another. Oh God, that'll be <laughs> that'll be in another video when we do like a kitchen restock and organise. Then we have the knives and fork straw. With some new kitchen foil. With kitchen foil and cling film. And then in here we've got the tea towels and a measuring mug. For we've got measuring cups. Oh, <laughs> that's all of them. I was like, one. why would you have got one? one? <laughs> and then we've got a pizza tray in there with another oven glove. And then in the bottom one. Bottom one. Oh. This needs some proper organisation. I know, well I've seen these things you can get where it like slots so in. Oh really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need that. We do. Yeah, this is basically all our pots and pans and bacon. Pots and stuff. pans will start to smell. We... In here we've got some bacon trays on the top with a little dish for some yep. reason. And then down in the bottom bit we've got some iced tea and miscellaneous, some isn't chips, it? Some miscellaneous <laughs> items. The top again is not the cleanest. We've got bowls 
flapjacks on this side <laughs> and then little plastic containers jugs some flour and then this is snacks but again this needs we need some baskets and some organization in yeah. there cause these it's a bit of... bowls are from B&M and they're the best bowls like the microwavable like really good for meal planning for, yeah so yeah. when you've meal prepped you can put them in there oh they're so deep and they're gorgeous just love it don't we, don't we? you don't want to see an no. average guys i'm not gonna lie it's look not a lot in it the fridge is low because it's cow print this is the cow print fridge that is just a high sense fridge freezer that we've cow printed that we will never use probably we used yet. we're not I gonna think i might use it in the no, summer no because then how are you gonna clean it it goes mouldy. The girl, mess, Look. the girl commented saying... And she said it's horrible. She said it's a joke to no, clean. No, she said she's found a hack. No, she did not. She I didn't did. see that. Look, Look, you put the water in there. Yeah. So and how on earth do you clean in there? This comes off. Oh, I'm not. No. <laughs> not There's no way. But I'm proud of us. So this is where we'll have some more prints. This is just as you come in. The light, switch, the light shade, sorry, needs changing. Yeah. But other than that, if I stand right... As you come in, so you can get a good view. No. That's how we're looking. What do we think of the kitchen, everyone? Do we like? We've done a good job there. I, for one, am proud of us. I, for one, am very proud. It just feels like... More homely. And more us. We've proper made it our own now. It's mad, because we've not done a lot to it. We've literally stuck some black vinyl on. But it looks so Hiles. different. If you look back on pictures, like we're going to have a before and after, it looks massively different. It does. And when you look on pictures from when we first viewed the house, it's like, like nothing. Yeah. Like, that's how much you can see, how much has changed. Oh, is that the dog? Oh, okay, so hopefully you enjoyed watching the kitchen makeover. Make sure you subscribe. Yeah. And we'll see you in the next one. See ya.